So welcome to the channel. In today's episode, this is an exciting one right here. Right where I'm standing, I've just cleaned this entire area out. And we're about to build a small room right here that's gonna house our solar equipment and allow us to do tie-ins to the shop currently. And in the future, we can tie from here all the way over to the house. So let's hurry up and jump on into this. This is exciting, I'm kinda itching to build something new, but keep in mind this room right here is gonna allow us to continue to do tests, reviews, learn and educate here on the channel. Not only is it gonna allow me to continue to learn how to do some of this stuff, but it's to share it with you as well. That's ultimately what this room is all about. All right, I've already got some dimensions laid out on the floor. I've done moved my big compressor over and did some wiring off camera to kinda clear this space out. I also wanna really reinforce the roof, do some tight spacing and a little bit thicker rafters, not just frame it out in two by fours so I can do some storage up top as well. I'm always finding that I need more and more storage in this shop. All right, so what I'm trying to accomplish here, I have a wall that I can't actually frame out due to all the electrical here because, well, back in the day, I never intended to do a solar room. Had no idea this was coming. So I'm spacing out some blocking on some horizontal two by two steel that I have back here and spacing out the point that eventually I can put some sheathing here. In this particular wall, I want to make a big section of sheathing removable so I can access knockouts for future wire pulls and runs and things such as that. So I don't wanna do a vertical stud wall here and block my access to my panel. So the wall that's running this way and this way, these will be the ones that's giving me my vertical support for a load overhead plus a big two by eight that I'm actually going to lag into these steel studs right here. And I apologize for the rooster. My chicken pen is way too close to the shop. Okay, so the first wall is assembled. You can see I have my rough door opening here. Went and pulled the specs offline. I'm actually having an extremely hard time finding doors anywhere right now. I may have to go to an entirely different state to find a simple interior door. Oh, I'm so sick of these supply chain issues. I have framed out the bottom with pressure treat lumber for my bottom plate because sometimes we do experience a little bit of moisture in here. And I'm gonna put this bottom seal right here on. This is a foam sealer that's made just to go on the bottom side. Typically this seals out air. That's not a concern in here. We're not air sealing out this room tightly by any means. So one thing that it does do is provide additional moisture barrier as well. So all you do is just put it on the bottom. I'll pop a couple quick staples in to hold it. And you also just seen me drill some holes through the bottom plate where we're gonna put concrete anchors to keep the bottom of this to never kick out.
All right, even though it's quiet, my rooster's about to start crowing as soon as he hears me talking. All right, so we've got a crazy wall going on over here. I've still got some things to remove and a little buttoning up to do, but I think it's a good point to wrap the episode up because I've still got to make another trip to town, a big hardware store run, and get all the stuff to finish this room out. But as y'all can see, I literally have four different types of wiring going on here, plus more over here hiding behind. So we're setting this room up to test just about anything we can get our hands on. I've had huge requests for portable power stations, but I've had just as many requests from people to start getting into on-wall inverters, rack batteries, on-wall batteries. Well, the good news is some of that stuff is coming and coming very soon. So I need to set the room up to handle all kinds of stuff. This is gonna be a fun room. I love learning about this stuff and I love sharing it with you. That's what this is all about. Some people can't handle the reviews and get upset about it. That's just the way this is. This is educational, this is learning. And in the process, you learn some stuff about it, I do. And maybe you find some products that you're looking for. We've had a lot of people come over to the channel recently because of, well, solar related stuff and reviews in general. So I have a six gauge wire right here that can handle up to 50 amps of 240 volts. Well, we're gonna need that for some future stuff that we're gonna test. I have eight gauge wire here. I have multiple multiple separate 12 gauge receptacles in here so we can charge multiple power stations at a time. And then I have some, well, 14 gauge stuff to run some simple lights and an exhaust fan in here. So this entire area right here is probably where I'm gonna do the majority of my testing. I'm gonna build a workbench here, like a 32 or 36 inch tall workbench. That's my, why my receptacles are so high so I can charge stuff. So we're gonna put a 50 amp generator inlet box over here so we can kind of power back over to the panel itself. And this will also allow us to plug in smaller stations that we're gonna test and just kind of figure a whole bunch of stuff out. So I see a whole lot of people do reviews of equipment and they just talk about it, sit down, put it on the bench, run a hair dryer, some other basic things on it. Well, I'm actually setting this up to where we can take the entire shop off grid and spoiler alert, in the future, I'm trenching from this main panel all the way over to the house, I'm gonna run some 100 amp service cable so we can literally take this room as large as we want with the biggest inverters on the wall that you can imagine, rack batteries, on the wall batteries, whatever we may get to, the biggest portable power stations there is, and we can flip a single breaker and power the house up as well. So not only does this make us very safe as far as backup power goes, you know, I'm very passionate about having some backup power, but this is gonna allow us to test anything we can get our hands on and potentially maybe take structures like say either the entire shop or the entire house off grid. And we now have a nice safe room to do that from. Not to mention this room also protects us from freezing cold temperatures, which lithium batteries don't like, but this is Florida, so I'm not overly concerned with that at all. This room also gives me a small space that I can run a small heater to keep the temperature well above whatever it needs to be. We're gonna ventilate this room to get some heat out that this equipment could generate. And this room also keeps moisture and dust away from this equipment as well. I definitely don't need it out in the shop with all the work that I do out here. All right, so hopefully y'all enjoyed the episode. I'm really excited about this room. This is gonna be a fun space right here for us to test, learn, and kind of play around with a lot of stuff over the next few years. Catch you on the next episode.